You may be expecting someone to introduce me, but I'm not like all the other guys. So, let me introduce myself. I'm Narco, top one player in the world for several seasons, and I'm risking my life teaching you how to become a pro player in a matter of days, giving you the most valuable tips and tricks you'll ever find. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. We're all gathered in here to test a myth. Is it possible to change your class once you've started a match? To find out, first, I have to get myself killed. Then, once on the revival flight, I'll try to change my class. Come on, little prink, unload your mag on me, and don't forget to take a screenshot. I was just kidding, but he actually stopped and took that bloody screenshot. I can imagine him being like, I'm gonna put this screenshot all over the place in my room, especially on my roof. When I wake up in the morning and open my eyes, I want that to be the first thing that I see in my life. <laughs> well, good luck with that, mister. Back on the revival flight, we can see that the selected class before my death was Ninja. Now, if we tape on that button, we can literally see that it is possible to change your class after you've entered a match. Now, this has a lot of benefits because if you die close to the end of the match, you can choose other classes based on where the safe zone will close. For example, if the zone closes into an area with a lot of buildings, I would personally use Ninja. But if the zone closes into an open space, I would rather go for Defender or Smoke Bomber. Another common mistake is the one that the Smoke Bomber almost always commits to. As a smoke bomber user, you may think that the right thing to do is to throw your smoke bomb on the enemy squad as soon as you get the chance, but that's completely wrong, and I'm going to explain to you why. Reason number one, if you cover all of them with smoke, you will be the one and only to see what's going on inside that smoke. And if you die, you are dead, and your teammates will not be able to shoot the enemies because they're legally blind. Reason number two. If on the enemy squad there is a smoke bomber user, throwing the smoke on him will only give him more advantage over your squad. He can eliminate you first, assuming that he saw you using the smoke bomber, and then eliminate the rest of your squad. Don't forget, because he can also see through your own smoke. The right way to use the smoke is to throw it on yourself. That way, you can still see the whole enemy squad through the smoke, and your whole squad can spread out and attack them at the same time. Remember that fighting smart will always bring you to victory. Now, this is something I've never talked about, because I thought it's something everyone else can see and understand at a certain point. But watching my own private matches, I can still see many pro players making this mistake. Let's say, for some reason, you get damaged by being shot or being outside the safe zone. It doesn't really matter. The only thing you have to deal with is hemostatic. And, as written in here, Hemostatic recovers 20 points of your HP. So, let's make it a test. I've been shot and left with 14 HP. By using two Hemostatics, that means I should get 40 HP of health on top of my 14. 
A quick little bit of mathematics. 40 plus 14 equals 54. So far, so good. Now, let's see it in practice. Where is my 54 HP? Let's watch again and pay close attention. If I would have stopped in here, my health would have gone up to 34, and then with the second hemostatic up to 54. But since I keep using hemostatics one after the other, that would never happen. Except if you are a medic class user. Observe that while I'm using the second hemostatic. My HP is growing 2 points every second, and by the end of it, I'm already at 22 HP. 22 plus 20 equals 42. As I've said, unless you're a medical class user, you will not get 40 HP by using hemostatics one after the other. You have to literally wait those 20 HP from the first hemostatic to be filled in, and then you go ahead and use the second one. Or you can count 6 seconds before you go ahead and use the other one. That way, your HP will increase constantly without losing any points. Nowadays, another common mistake is the one where the airborne user commits. Since we are able to shoot players on the air, flying diagonally towards your enemy is not a good idea anymore. See what I'm talking about? The right way to rush is to fly on top of them, since they cannot shoot straight up on top of their head. And then, fly down vertically, have that basic slide, and then, finish the job. Soldiers, my mission ends here. My second YouTube channel is now on. This channel will be dedicated exclusively for live streams only. Go ahead and press that follow button if you want to see some real action. The link is in the description. Also, if you want to come with me on the battlefield, join my Discord server. I was Narco number one in the world for several seasons. Let me know if you have enjoyed my tips and tricks to bring you more. Cheers, mate.